Chris Wise with Wise About Flower Mound, and today I have Eileen Garcia with Farfalla Therapy. So we're going to talk speech. So tell me about you. How did you get into this business? Hi. Um, well, yes, my name's Eileen, and I got into this business because I saw such a great need for a bilingual provider in the area. Very good. And also, I had a lot of inquiries about people asking me if I teach Spanish. Okay. Which, at the time, being in a different company, I didn't think about that possibility. Mm -hmm. But now, I decided to implement that as part of my business. Okay. So I offer um, speech, language, and feeding services okay. to children who have those delays in those okay. areas. Okay. And uh, starting next year, January 2021, I'm implementing Spanish classes for toddlers. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Teaching toddlers how to do Spanish or how to talk Spanish. That's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, there's been such a great need for that because there's several elementary schools that are now Spanish immersion. And so I know a lot of people are wanting that. So what a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, there's a huge need, like I said, and a lot of people wanting to keep their kids to learn second language. Mm -hmm. And especially there's a lot of myths about bilingualism. Mm. And there's a lot of uh, parents don't understand sometimes. How can I teach my kid a second language when I'm not? A native speaker of oh. that language or I don't even know that yes language. yes and you definitely can you know oh my gosh and um, and then with the therapy side of things um, a lot of there's a lot more need of, with feeding but my philosophy it's more about family center therapy mm -hmm. and family center classes for the okay. Spanish immersion class okay mm -hmm. wow so um, just a personal note so my son's 14 and he got diagnosed with a tongue tie that everybody had missed until he had a checkup with a local dentist and so he had to go through speech therapy before he had the tongue tie release and then got it released and then had to go through so I learned so much during that time about swallowing I mean just all the things that I didn't realize were an issue and it's it's just very interesting so I, I feel not that I'm an expert but I mean I feel like that now at least I know more about that I, I just thought it was for kids who couldn't talk or didn't talk yes no or wait. said L's wrong or something like that and now I realize there's so much more yes no our field is very broad we mm -hmm. work with with the human across the, their lifespan but my special my specialty is more with children mm -hmm. right? I love working with children and I love working with parents and okay. educating them and helping them understand the process of learning language, the process of swallowing and feeding concerns mm -hmm. um, when they're little, little, like yeah, birth, yeah, um, into all the way to. I work with birth to ten years of age. That's okay, where my that's your specialty is. Oh my gosh! Um, but yeah, so I also um, a lot of kids get discharged from the NICU and things like that, and some parents have no idea what to do with the baby or new parent or baby mm -hmm. and has been in the NICU and there's a yeah. lot of things that sometimes they need support and help with. So I provide that support. Okay. And I also have um, consultations, you know, if parents have questions about mm -hmm. just feeding, language, speech, or even questions about bilingualism, I also offer uh, consultations. Oh, that's great. And right now my services, I offer them at home, Okay. in person in daycares or via telehealth online okay therapy. great i um, i always ask the parents how they feel comfortable what they're feeling comfortable with especially mm -hmm. this time of yeah. the year and 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 always keep everyone's safety mm -hmm. first exactly and that's i you know all of us as business owners are trying to figure out how do we navigate these waters make sure that we're safe our clients are safe Everybody feels comfortable, so I certainly understand yes. um, what a year it's been, definitely, yes. mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you do on-site visits with, mm -hmm. okay, great. And are you partnering with some of the um, daycares, or do you, I mean, I'm just wondering, you know, so if so if I had a child at the daycare, is there any kind of screening or anything that yes. you do? Yes, so um, I go to daycares and deliver my information and I have a screening that daycares have okay. on site and if their child has, um, if a teacher or the director feel like they need mm -hmm. a little more support, uh, 
they contact the parent and ask if they're okay for me to do a screening. Okay. And I get their consent, I do a screening, and if it's needed, I contact the family directly. Okay. And do the evaluation with them, and if they prefer it for daycare visits or mm-hmm. visits to be done at mm-hmm. daycare, I do that. Okay. And I do it at home, so right. I'm very okay. flexible with what they need. Exactly. And, um, and I offer um, weekend appointments as well. Oh, that's for great. For those parents that work and really want the ther- you know, that therapist to be at home with, with them. Right, exactly. And just at daycare. So I do a little bit of everything. Oh, that's great. To help support teachers at school and parents at home. That's great. So are your services usually covered under insurance or are you billing or how does that work? Yeah, currently I am private pay only. Okay. But I do offer a super bill. So I and I inform the family what how that looks like and basically mm-hmm. all the codes that they need to, mm-hmm. to bill their insurance okay. are written on there. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. And, and usually that gives me, my, that helps me give more of my time to therapy and mm-hmm. families and not to the paperwork that yeah that goes mm-hmm. with all that mm-hmm. and sometimes insurance have their um, restrictions or mm-hmm. their limitations and sometimes babies need more than what the insurance offers yeah and, you know and um, so I'm all about family center again and, and helping them as much as I can and with the Spanish classes is again private pay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay well, that's great. Gosh. So, um, what's the youngest child you've treated? And I mean, yeah, I, uh, without giving up any HIPAA, I understand. Yeah, but <laughs> a fourth month baby. Oh, with, wow. Um, it was born 26 weeks, and I was working with him with wow. feeding yeah. and helping the mom understand how uh, breastfeeding, mm-hmm. you know, and how to help the baby latch on mommy's breast and mm-hmm. help with bottle feeding mm-hmm. and finding the right. Um, size nipple yeah because there's a lot of bottles out there oh I know parents get so overwhelmed with how much is out there and I just help them lessen their yeah their yeah I remember that as a mom it's right. almost like you should go and get like the sample pack <laughs> of bottles because you really don't know which one your child is gonna yes. um, take to mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah and I help them understand uh, that when a baby's born at 26 weeks, they are not ready to be out in this world. No. And they are having to learn all these new things, a lot of lights, people touching them, messing with yeah. them that they weren't ready for yet. Right. So I educate parents on what to expect, also mm-hmm. with their sensory and their body mm-hmm. and on top of the feeding, of course. Yeah, you're Everything right. Everything is a whole. Just yeah, because at 26 weeks, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. That is truly amazing. You think about that baby, like you said, is not ready for any of that. That was not part of the deal no. at that mm-hmm. point. So. so here's where speech language pathologists come into play and mm-hmm. help parents um, help their baby and yeah, navigate all of this concerns and worries that they have and mm-hmm. help them feel more comfortable, help mm-hmm. them feel confident and competent that they can take care of a 26-week-old mm-hmm. baby. Yeah, or yeah. Or how old, whatever age they yeah, are. Yeah, no. Even a 10-year-old, you know, because right. parents have, parents have, parents are the experts of their child. Right. You know, and we just come in and just help and guide them in, um, in very different, provide them with a lot of different strategies and techniques to help mm-hmm. their, their kids. Well, a lot of times parents don't realize that there's an issue until they've had a second kid. And then they realize that the first kid, in our case, I didn't, my, my number one son, you know, seemed fine and all of that, but he had dyslexia. But we did not know that until my second son got into um, elementary school and he was reading. You know, he was in kindergarten and my first son, who was in second grade, was not doing as well. And I Ah, okay. I didn't realize because you don't know what's normal when you just have the one child. But when that second child comes, then you start to realize, okay, there is some disparity. So, you know, we ended up getting him. I mean, I know you're not, that's not a piece that you're in, but um, getting him evaluated. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, wow. If I would have let that go, if he would have been my only child, I might not have recognized it. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. same thing with babies. You have that second baby and then you're like, oh, I remember how this is. Oh, you know, it seems, it seems... Typical, I won't say normal because none of us are normal, but it seems typical or they seem like there might be delayed or, you know, yes, something. Yes, of course, yes. And there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of things 
that there's you know out there with your babies also help parents understand what toys to get sometimes what mm -hmm. books to mm -hmm. get for their kids um, materials for them to use sometimes they already have the materials and they yeah. don't know how to use them exactly and here's where I come exactly well mm -hmm. that's great and then on top of that being Spanish speaking and to then offer that service Yes. It's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I also, because I know about language and I'm a Spanish native speaker, mm -hmm. I put all together and I help if a parents interested in Spanish, not therapy. Right. right. The separate, separate exactly. things. Exactly. I, um, I do analyze their, the, the language of the child, mm -hmm. whatever age they are, and then um, I start teaching or implementing the, the classes as well as teaching the parents how they can help provide resources out in the community exactly. or now with social media there's a lot of things out there but there's a lot it's there's a lot so it's, much. Just, it's just we need to know what to get from what is out there basically mm -hmm. well and th and that's why you hire an expert in anything you do is to call that down to what are the things that are going to work for you I mean you know even in my job in real estate yes somebody can sell their house themselves but there's so many things that can go wrong that you really need that expert. Yes, somebody could, you know, work with their child to help them swallow and watch some YouTube videos and try to do it, but they don't have that expertise. Yes. And they really need that, that expert person mm -hmm. who has done it a bazillion times and can guide them through that process. Yes, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's where yeah I come into play and, and help all my babies and their families and that's my passion, you know, educating yeah. parents and helping yeah. them understand and the rest is mm -hmm. just go. Oh, well, that's great. Well, you're definitely happy with what you do. I yes. can see it when oh, you talk yes. about it. Yes. So it's not a, oh, I'm going to go to work today. You no. are just delighted to be yes. able to work with yes. these kids and the parents. Yes, I'm very blessed that I chose this as a profession because yeah. I changed lives. Mm -hmm. Truly. In a lot. And, yeah. Uh, and the parents are amazing. Yeah. All of my families are amazing and I can't wait to help more families. Yeah, I'm here. definitely. I'm available. You know? That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, we will have links to um, get to Eileen so that you can, if you have a need or if you want to have your child learn Spanish, then yes. what a great offering that you're going to be offering. Yes. yes. And um, that's exciting because... I mean, what that's best just to start as early as you possibly can mm -hmm. to be able to learn two languages. I mean, that's... Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The earlier, the better. Yeah, that's so, great. So, yeah, feel free to contact me, my email, my mm -hmm. phone number. If there's any questions you guys have, I'm available. If I don't have the answer, I'll find you the answer. And I can guarantee concerns. that she will. So, <laughs> yes. well, thank you, well, so, thank much. you so much. I Chris, appreciate for having me. Yes, here. I appreciate this. Once again, I'm Chris Wise with Wise About Flowerman. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Eileen's information is attached. And we look forward to seeing you next time.